Hi guys, it's Lana here. I always say my name as if it's like Slana. I promise you my name is not Slana, it's Lana. Hi guys, it's Lana here. Today we are going to be having a look at pink clay. This is the pink clay hair mask that I have. I've been seeing so much about pink clay. That's why I wanted to make this video. I wanna find out, is it worth the hype? I wanna find out if this works. I wanna know if it's good for my hair. Does my hair like it? Does it make my hair grow? Is it good for my scalp? Does it smell good? It does smell good. Let's talk about whether these products are clean, green, or none of that. <laughs> so clean would be things that are non-toxic, no paraben, no sulfate, no silicone, no phenoxyethanol, no fragrance, that's clean. Over here in green, we've got vegan, cruelty-free, recyclable bottles, sustainable, environmentally friendly, and then we have none of it. So the first thing that stood out to me is that these products are vegan and not tested on animals. So I already love them for that. That's gonna be the most important part for me. The rest of it, I don't mind so much. Let's just stick it over here. They're green. The bottles are recyclable. They're green, they're not tested animals. They're vegan. Are they clean? Well, they're silicone free. The shampoo is also sulfate free. However, I think there's gonna be a few ingredients in this one in particular that some of these clean beauty people are not gonna be that into. I don't see fragrance and I don't see phenoxyethanol but I do see sodium hydroxide. So what's the key message of these products? Low maintenance. These are kind of designed, I say kind of, it's literally emblazoned across the front. Wash extending. Wash extending pink clay shampoo. Wash extending pink clay conditioner. We don't have to wash our hair as often. This leaves your hair feeling fresh and clean for longer. It's lightweight, oil absorbing, mattifying, detoxifying, wash extending. So I'm gonna try the whole range. I'm gonna go and shampoo my hair and then I'll be back. Okay, so I know you don't need me to jump on a voiceover right now to tell you how to shampoo, but I thought some of you might appreciate it. So I just pour the shampoo onto my palm like this. I apply it directly to my scalp and I rub that into a lather. I do the usual, you know, I make a mohawk, I have fun with it. I mean, I don't usually do this. I was just feeling silly today. I don't, I don't know what's going on. But I was also really proud of myself because my shower routine has become really efficient with water. So you can see that right now while I'm filming. The water is not running. Be proud of me, because I'm proud of me. Yay. Hey, so I'm done with the shampoo and now I'm just gonna go straight into the mask. I'm not gonna use the conditioner as well because I either generally use the conditioner or the mask. I don't usually do both. We're gonna skip this today and we're just gonna use the mask. Ooh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my hair is dripping down my back and it feels kind of gross. So I'm just gonna grab a big amount like this. I was about to say like, don't be shy, but it just reminds me of that TikTok that's like, don't be shy, for some more. Ugh, I hate that TikTok, it's always so creepy. Don't be shy, for some more. Ew. But anyway, don't be shy, for some more. Don't be shy, for some more. Don't be shy, for some more. <laughs> And I'm definitely gonna put some of that on my ends. I'm due for a haircut anyway, but let's take care of these ends while we still got them. My hair's not that tangled actually. So this ain't so bad. Can you guys believe I'm not wearing any highlighter today? What? Like there is a ring light, obviously. I don't think I'd be glowing like this if there was no ring light. Okay, my hair's pretty much detangled now. Just add a little more for luck. And then I'm just going to wrap this into a little bun at the back. Done. So just add a little bit more on this. Oh, there's a lot on this one. We have got a lot of pink clay mask over here. Just wrap it into a bun. Like this. Oh, Princess Leia over here with my wonky buns. Luke. I am your sister. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this on my hair for about half an hour. Probably learn some general knowledge because I'm gonna do a general knowledge quiz. That's what I'm gonna spend my half an hour doing. What are you gonna do with yours? Well, you don't have to because we're gonna skip. We're gonna skip to the next scene. Okay, see you there. And how was that? You didn't have to wait at all, right? They took good care of you over in editing, didn't you? Why am I being like this? I don't know. Anyway, I used this little plastic bag to put my hair in because plastic. 
why am I talking about plastic? Like when I think about that, like plastic is so gross. It's 2020, why am I like hyping plastic? So I'm wearing this little plastic baggie on my head. It does serve a purpose. I'm not just like trying to contact aliens and like being crazy and whatnot. This actually helps to keep some warmth on your scalp so the warm air that escapes from your scalp sort of just traps and circulates in here which can help the product to work a little bit faster like not that much faster because it's not that warm but i'm just in the habit of doing it anyway so you can use a plastic bag a shower cap i used to use a carrier bag for the longest time now i've upgraded to a ziploc bag you know how the saying goes reduce reuse recycle so right now we are reusing repurposing our ziploc baggies so it's been about half an hour i'm gonna go and rinse this off i'm not gonna show you the styling products because the styling products are not from the pink clay range so i'll jump back at the end of this video and we can talk about the results and what i think about this do i like it or not okay hi so i'm finished everything now my hair is finally dry and now i can say what i think about those mark hill pink clay products so i think this did a great job i think my hair definitely felt moisturized i was able to detangle my hair really easily with it which is something that's really important to me with a conditioner if it's going to be sulfate free and vegan and cruelty free then it at least needs to have good slip and it needs to moisturize my hair well so it did all of that and my hair feels super soft and moisturized and shiny too there's like no oil on my hair right now and you can see it has like a good amount of shine and i'm just like so distracted right now by like these curls boy those are so juicy that's all i want to say about the mark hill pink clay masks i really like this one i'll see if i can find some other pink clay masks to try and see if the other ones are worth the hype but in my opinion this one is worth the hype i really like it thank you guys so much for watching my video please like and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any more videos from me but you have to turn on your notifications i know i say it at the end of every video but it's because I'm trying to form like a little community here. I want us to be able to like actually have like back and forth discussions and I want to get to know you as well as you know me. And that doesn't work unless we're like spending good quality time together. So I'm going to need you guys to put your notifications on so that you know when I upload a video. Otherwise, the YouTube algorithm is just going to take the power of your hands and it's just going to put whatever it wants you to see in front of your eyes so you need to put the notifications on so that you see what you want to see also get me on instagram for the life of lana summer so i put everything on instagram from breakdowns to blessings so check it out it's a wild ride that's all i want to say thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye